What's going on everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome to the video today where we are going to be playing Radiant. That's right. New game here. We're going to check it out. See if it's any good. If it is, we will uh, make a series out of it. So uh, let's just jump into it and figure it out. Uh, this is it. My first date with a girl I've had a crush on since we were kids. I can't believe I actually had the courage to ask Lindsay to the dance. Hell, I can't believe she said yes. It feels like my heart is about to jump out of my chest. And I'm starting to get sweaty. I should relax. Should I have brought these flowers? Maybe I overdid it a little. Oh, all right, scavenger. Get it together. You're acting like a schoolgirl. The question is, am I nervous because of my date? Or the fact that she's supposed to be meeting me here and hasn't answered my calls or texts? Ooh, did I get stood up? What kind of club is this? Okay. The event is well on its way, and most of the attendees have already started to dance. What's with all the fog? It's like a strip club in here. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah, at least they went big with the sound system. This is going to be a good night. Uh, she has to be here somewhere, right? We were supposed to meet 20 minutes ago. But don't panic. She's probably just running behind. I'm sure that's why she can't answer my calls. Sure. Sure, scavenger. Whatever. Soon, a few minutes became an hour, and your texts go unanswered. Although you cling to denial, the sound of the night's first slow song comes with the haunting realization that is winding down to an end. She stiffed me. I, I can't believe Lindsay stood me up. What the fuck? But why? Did I say something wrong? You watch helplessly as your peers find dance partners blissfully unaware of your existential crisis. Fuck it. I'm just gonna finish my drink then head home. This is bullshit. But as you scan the room once more in hopes of finding your date, something else catches your eye. Oh, who's this? Gracie doesn't look so happy right now. I wonder what happened. Did she get stiff too? Maybe I should have asked her instead. After all, I used to like her quite a lot. I never did get around to talking to her, though. I mean, I know nothing about her other than she seems like a nice person. You contemplate asking her to dance when you notice Chad, the biggest douchebag in the district, obnoxiously approach her. Sup, slut? You are graced with the presence of Chad. Leave me alone, Chad. I'm not in the mood for whatever you're going to say. Are you a dictionary? Cause my uh dick is hairy. That that doesn't even make sense. What are you doing? You've got to be kidding me. So even this asshole had a day tonight? Yet I'm the one who got stiffed? Just go away, Chad. That's disgusting. I already told you I'm not interested. Come on, slut. At least dance with me, then. I'm not just some slut. Get your hands off of me. You're hurting my arms. Things escalate as Chad attempts to aggressively drag her to the dance floor, ignoring her protests. Hey, are you serious right now, Chad? Knock it off, prick. What did you just say, you freaking maggot? I'll have you know. Oh, man, I just knocked him out cold. He hits the ground with a well-timed thud. And Gracie decides to thank you with a big hug. Thank you for standing up for me, scavenger. He was squeezing my arm really hard. You remember all the times you wanted to approach her, wanted to ask her out, and the small crush you once had on her. Tonight couldn't get any worse than it already is, so despite the low chance of success, you mustered the courage to ask her. Gracie, do you want to dance with me? Sh sure, I'd like that. So that's why you never talked to me? You could have, you know. I'm not like those snobby girls who think they're too good to talk to others just because they're hot, popular, or whatever. You guys chat and flirt for some time. But just before you make your move, the music picks up. Here we go. I want to see... I want to see every last one of y'all get nasty in here. Spread your... Whoa, Jesus. I don't know if he's allowed to say that. 
Young man, now you cannot talk like that in here. This must be like high school graduation or something. Man, F you. You ain't my dad. I, okay, that's the dude that said that. <laughs> what Whatevs. Damn, she's pushing her ass against me pretty hard. I can feel, oh man, I can feel it grinding on me. I can feel it grinding on me. But to your disappointment, the moment abruptly ends as Gracie takes a step backwards. She's visibly startled by something behind you. Scavenger, we should leave. Why? Is everything all right? There's that guy who sucker punched me. I'm gonna kill you, you freaking nerd. Come on, we better not stay here. Do you have a car? I yes, but I'm too drunk to drive, I think. Get back here, you freaking retard. I'm going to snap your neck. Don't worry about it, I'll drive. We can go back to my place. Okay. Whoa, is that my car? No, it's gonna be that little bike right there, isn't it? There's no way this is my car. This is probably Chad's for sure. You exit the building and begin sprinting towards the parking lot. Along the way, you give Gracie your keys. Holy shit, this is my car. No, wait. Come on, let's hurry. This isn't my car. This can't be my car. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure we're way ahead of them. Hey, go F yourself, simp. This is my car, what? Oh God. God, thank you guys for not making my dude a complete loser. He has the sweetest ride. You speed out of there long before Chad and the gang catch up to you. And although your mind is racing, you can't take your eyes off the cutie behind the wheel. I don't think she was buckled up. As promised, she drives you to her house. We have to be quiet. My parents can't know that you're with me. Welcome to my dull and interesting bedroom. It's a work in progress. Hey, it's not that bad. Thanks. Um, I should probably warn you. If my dad finds you here, he will kill you. Oh, uh, uh thanks for the warning. Mm-hmm. So, um, that was really nice of you, you know? Helping me out back there. Those across-loving cucks would have jumped me, and I definitely was not in any condition to fight back, let alone escape. I drank way too much. Oh, don't mention it. I owe you. You know, it's not every day that someone risks their neck for you. You stood up for me. I was just doing what I thought was right at the time. I don't know what came over me, to be honest. It, yeah, but you didn't have to intervene. You're lucky you didn't get in trouble, but I'm glad you stepped in when you did. That was... It was really sweet of you. And you didn't have to invite me back to your room, but you did anyway. Why? Well, it's not like I could have just taken you back to your place. How would I even get home then? And besides, you were in no state to drive yourself home or anything. S so I guess I just figured you could, um, I don't know, wait here until you think you're okay to drive? And then sneak back out? Or something. I didn't really have time to think about it. <laughs> it's alright. You don't have to be embarrassed. I'm just curious. Oh, I'm, I'm not embarrassed. Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> you're blushing because you're not embarrassed. Hmm, this is what I get for being considerate, huh? She speaks playfully. <laughs> I'm just messing around. Thank you, Gracie, for everything. And I'm glad to be here, if I'm being honest. Scavenger, I, I should be the one thinking you. She reaches forward and touches your hand. But a sharp pain makes you jerk it away. Oops, I I'm sorry. Are you okay? What happened to your hand? Oh, it's my finger. I, I think I might have sprained it when I punched old dick mouth. Oh no, it looks swollen. Hold on. Let me get you some ice. Uh, no, no, I I'll be okay. Really, you don't have to. No way, you're hurt. It will take longer to heal if we don't ice it now and reduce the swelling. Let me just go to the kitchen quickly and get you something. I'll be right back. Here, I soaked a towel in some ice water. Give me your hand. You can't help but stare. Gracie? Yeah, scavenger? Why did you look so upset? Back at the dance when I first noticed you. You were standing there all alone and you didn't seem very happy. 
Oh, I didn't realize anyone had noticed. Well, to be honest, my best guy friend asked me to go. I don't have a boyfriend or anything, so I was kind of prepared to just miss it all together. So when he asked me, I, I was so happy. He said he was doing it because he wanted to be a good friend to me. He even made it clear that he was asking as a friend, knowing that I don't see him as more than that. But as soon as we got there, he tried to kiss me. And when I told him no, he just flipped out. He told me to go F myself and left. So there I was, on what was supposed to be a wonderful night, alone. Wow, I'm sorry. He shouldn't have reacted the way he did. What about you? Where was your date? Oh, oh my god, you didn't abandon your date to come here, did you? Actually, Gracie, my date stood me up. She agreed to go with me. We even texted a little bit the night before, but when I texted her this afternoon, she never replied. We were supposed to meet up at the event, and she just didn't show. Come here for a second. Uh oh. She doesn't protest. Okay, I can't hold back any longer. She closes her eyes and kisses you back passionately. Scavenger? Yeah? Thank you for being so sweet to me. I've been treated like crap my whole life by everyone. My father, my friends. Thanks to you, I'll remember this night forever. Got another smoochy smooch. You slide your hand between her legs and she doesn't resist you at all. Instead, she spreads them for you. You immediately notice her wet panties. To your surprise, she suddenly breaks away from your grip and gets up from the bed. Shit, did I go too far? Did I misread the situation? I hope she doesn't think I took advantage of her. Sorry, Gracie, I shouldn't have. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. The dad. No. Oh, shoot. That is one wicked looking dad. I am screwed. What in the pig loving F is going on here, Gracie? <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh my god. Scavenger, go quick. Uh, you take one final glance in the direction of her window, hoping to see Gracie. Instead, you see Gracie's father taunting you. You have five seconds to get off my property before I snap your neck like a frickin' twig. Crap. Guess I have no choice. Okay, alright. <laughs> Goodbye, Gracie. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow, I'm drunk, too. Drunk and tired and uh, driving. Definitely, definitely hope I don't get pulled over. I can't believe that. Uh oh. Oh no. No, you shouldn't have stayed, dude. You shouldn't have stayed. You're good. You always run. You don't need to stand up for yourself. That guy would have definitely killed you. Uh oh, I think I'm getting tired. Yeah. I think Gracie will be okay. I mean, she'll probably get a ass chewing but I think she'll be okay oh no I'm falling asleep this alcohol is really doing a number on me so so, so sleepy oh fuck snap out of it just a little further oh no no oh, shit well I'm probably dead now I'm probably dead now all right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end it there. We are not going to go any further with this game until you tell me if you want to see more. Thank you for watching. Again, this was Radiant. I, I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. You know, smack that like button. You know how to do that. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave comments. Tell me if you want to see more of this game or not. If you do, we'll make it a series here. Um, yeah, that's it. You guys take it easy. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.